Hello everyone, I am Dr. Abhijit Kumar and welcome to yet another session of case discussion where I will be discussing cases related to pregnancy induced hypertension. This is the most important topic in obstetrics and we can expect a question from this particular topic in the upcoming FMG exam. So let's start. So the question says that a pregnant woman in third trimester has normal blood pressure while she is standing and sitting. When supine, the blood pressure drops to 90 by 50. So what is the diagnosis? So before coming to the options, let us first understand what is the concept behind the blood pressure? What is the concept of the hypertension? See, you all know that. Can you guys tell me what is the main hormone during pregnancy? Yes, it is progesterone. So the main hormone during pregnancy, you all know that it is progesterone. Now what is the function of the progesterone that is leading to a decrease in the BP? See, all know that the progesterone, it is a smooth muscle relaxant. So progesterone, it is a smooth muscle relaxant. Now everyone knows that the pregnancy, it is a hypotensive state, okay? Pregnancy, it is a hypotensive state and everyone knows that smooth muscle relaxant, what it will do? It will actually relax the smooth muscles and what will happen? The peripheral vascular resistance the peripheral vascular resistance will decrease and ultimately there will be a decrease in the blood pressure. Now two important questions that are expected from here that I will try to highlight with some different color so that you guys remember that decrease in the blood pressure decreases mainly in the diastolic blood pressure that is the first thing that you should know that mainly it is the diastolic blood pressure which is decreased diastolic blood pressure which is decreased i'm not saying that the systolic blood pressure doesn't decrease but major decreases in the diastolic blood pressure and remember this decrease in the blood pressure is seen at 20 weeks of pregnancy okay it is more common at 20 weeks of pregnancy 20 weeks of pregnancy now that was the basic concept that you should know that the main hormone during pregnancy is progesterone it is a smooth muscle relaxant it will relax uh, the vascular component and ultimately the uh, blood pressure will decrease. Now what is uh, actually in the hypertension state? See, uh, whenever the patient or the female is lying supine, the pregnant female is lying supine, the gravid uterus will press on the inferior vena cava. Okay, The gravid uterus will try to suppress the inferior vena cava and hereby basically decreasing the blood return to the heart the cardiac output will decrease and ultimately the BP will decrease. So what happens? We'll write it that whenever pregnant female lies supine. Now whenever she is lying straight, okay, what will happen? The gravid uterus, okay, you know the gravid uterus will try to suppress the inferior vena cava okay try to suppress the inferior vena cava okay and ultimately the blood which is going towards the heart okay inferior vena cava is or uh, taking all the deoxygenated blood towards the heart so what will happen the blood going towards the heart will decrease towards the heart will decrease and 
ultimately what will happen the cardiac output will decrease the cardiac output will decrease and ultimately what will happen the BP will decrease and that condition when the pregnant female is lying supine mostly in the third trimester the the condition it is known as supine hypotension syndrome supine hypotension syndrome or it is most commonly known as it is known as repeat it is also known as inferior vena cava compression syndrome inferior vena cava compression syndrome okay it is compressing okay so compression syndrome so that is what the question is trying to tell us so now coming back to the question question says that the pregnant woman in third trimester when she is lying supine the blood pressure suddenly drops to 90 by 50 so what is the diagnosis guys yes it is the compression of the inferior vena cava okay that is inferior vena cava compression syndrome also known as supine hypotension syndrome also known as supine hypotension syndrome and what advice you will give to the mother after this you will ask the pregnant okay you will ask the pregnant woman not to lie supine to lie in the left lateral position okay you will ask the pregnant woman to lie in the left lateral position left lateral position now students i want to ask like what is hypertension in pregnancy see hypertension basically means when the blood pressure is more than 140 by 90 okay uh, basically it is twice six to eight hours apart okay so once you took the BP it is 140 by 90 after six or eight hours if you will repeat the BP it will again be 160 uh, means it will be more than 140 by 90 now my question is what are the points that you have to uh, keep in mind while measuring the blood pressure of the pregnant woman see the pregnant woman should be in the left lateral position or should be sitting beyond that basically the instrument should be kept at the level of the heart and ultimately uh, the diastolic sound that you will try to hear it is basically uh, in normal people it is by the muffling of sound but in pregnant women it is basically by the disappearance of sound that is Korakoff sound 5 phase 5 1 okay so basically the hypertension is referred as blood pressure more than 140 by 90 and that too like 4 to 6 to 8 hours apart and uh, yes there are certain things that have to keep to be kept in mind while measuring the BP as well. So this was a case related to supine hypotension syndrome. So every time whenever a pregnant woman visits to you, you have to tell if she is in the third trimester not to lie supine. She has to lie in the left lateral position. That will be the more convenient position. Coming on to the next question, which feature would be helpful in differentiating chronic hypertension from PIH? PIH stands for Pregnancy Induced Hypertension. Pregnancy Induced Hypertension. Now before coming to the options, guys let us understand the differences between chronic hypertension and pregnancy induced hypertension. Chronic hypertension in pregnancy. and pregnancy induced hypertension now students try to see that chronic hypertension is basically seen in the woman who is previously hypertensive and has conceived okay a hypertensive female has conceived
and this will be termed as chronic hypertension in pregnancy okay even before the pregnancy she is suffering from hypertension and this hypertensive female has conceived okay but pregnancy induced hypertension will be hypertension that is after 20 weeks of pregnancy or at 20 weeks of pregnancy okay she was not previously uh, hypertensive but due to some placental pathology due to some placental pathology around 20 weeks the female or the pregnant woman is hypertensive and that is called as pregnancy induced hypertension okay so what will be the reason here repeat so how to differentiate now so here the past history of hypertension is present But in pregnancy induced hypertension, there is no past history of hypertension. No past history of hypertension. Apart from that, guys try to remember the blood pressure will be raised. even before 20 weeks of pregnancy because she was previously hypertensive and you know that it will be raised even before 20 weeks of pregnancy that is from day one okay before 20 weeks of pregnancy that is from day one of pregnancy she will be hypertensive but in pregnancy induced hypertension Basically, she will be hypertensive after 20 weeks of pregnancy, okay? Hypertensive or BP will be raised after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Now, one more point that differentiates between the chronic hypertension and the pregnancy induced hypertension is that in chronic hypertension, the blood pressure will not come to normal, will not, remember, not come to normal even after 12 weeks of delivery. Even after 12 weeks of delivery, the blood pressure will not come back to normal. But in pregnancy-induced hypertension, the BP will come back to normal after 12 weeks of pregnancy. So, that will come back to normal after 12 weeks of pregnancy. So these are the points that differentiate between chronic hypertension in pregnancy from the pregnancy induced hypertension. So now the question says that which feature would be helpful in differentiating chronic hypertension from PIH? Is it episode of seizure? No. Hypertension nephropathy? Hypertension retinopathy? No. Hypertension at 10 weeks of gestation? Yes. 10 weeks of gestation will be actually seen in chronic hypertension. I already told you that pregnancy induced hypertension, basically the BP will be raised around 20 weeks or after 20 weeks of pregnancy, but not before that. So if the hypertension is presenting at 10 weeks of gestation, it clearly indicates that it is chronic hypertension in pregnancy and that feature will be helpful in differentiating chronic hypertension from pregnancy induced hypertension. Thank you.